and the next phylum in uh, fungal kingdom is uh, blastocladiomycota so previously what we have discussed is the uh, chytridiomycota and uh, neocalamastigomycota right so neocalamastigomycota now it is a uh, blastocladiomycota it is also very small uh, phylum that comes under uh, uh, fungi uh, let's see what all the different important characters and important fungi are there i am manish shankaradi phd plant pathology uh, so previously what we have discussed is chytridiomycota and the neocalamastigomycota is also over right so now it is a blastocladiomycota only important features and couple of important fungi will uh, just take a look at it so we'll see the first uh, general characters so it forms a true thallus so formation of true thallus is one of the general character and their generations are uh, you know actually between haploid gametophyllus and diploid sporothallus so they alternate or their generations are alternate between uh, uh, haploid gametophyllus and uh, diploid sporothallus what is a gametophyllus so which means uh, gamete stage sporothallus means spore production state right? so the next one is uh, uh, this uh, resting sporangia during unfavorable time the resting sporangia is produced with the typical pitted walls so which means uh, the resting sporangia contains uh, the walls are pitted and the second one is the kind of uh, sexual reproduction type is isogamous type or uh, anisogamous type where both and uh, male and female gametes are motile which means maybe isogamous or anisogamous in if you see in the sexual reproduction of a fungi isogamous anisogamous and heterogamous other kinds of things are there in isogamous and anisogamous both gametes are motile only male and female maybe the sizes may be different but uh, both are uh, motile right so when it comes to the juice spores uh, so the type of flagellation is a posterior whiplash type whiplash means uh, without hair posterior means a downward so take a look at this so the flagella is a downward direction that's what's called as a posterior whiplash and it consists of a nuclear cap take a look at it inside the nucleus uh, there is a small cap this is called as a nuclear cap along with uh, you know we can also call as a ribosomal cap also and a side body that is called a mitochondria take a look at it so it has their own uh, uh, energy production energy generation so if you take majority of the flagella in juice spore morphology also uh, in morphology of the spore that is especially juice spore morphology where we have discussed uh, mostly this uh, mitochondria not only in this uh, uh, spores or juice spores but also if you take in hyphae mostly at uh, that will be there at the end or that will be there at the energy production site for example in the case of uh, hyphae the mitochondria will be there at the tip so that it will continuously generate the energy and the hyphae will extend in the case of uh, this uh, juice spore which juice spore actually lies just close to this uh, flagella where it will generate the energy that is required by the flagella so that it will uh, move itself right so generally we know very well this mitochondria is an energy generation organ right so these are all the couple of general characters so coming to this uh, phylum it consists of only one class important uh, blastocladiomyces and only one order is there blastocladials but it consists of uh, five families uh, the two this uh, blastocladiaceae catenariaceae and coelomomycetaceae pisodermataceae and uh, the last one is uh, sorocatraceae again this blastocladiaceae consists of uh, five uh, five different uh, genera catenariaceae three genera coelomomycetaceae two genera pisodermaceae one genera and as well as soromycetaceae one genera we are not going to discuss all those things but we are uh, mainly concentrate on this uh, blastocladiaceae and uh, coelomomycetaceae let's uh, start with this uh, blastocladiaceae yeah this blastocladiaceae actually consists of uh, five important genera uh, in the family and actually thallus is divided into hold first uh, what is this hold first generally if this thallus is uh, well organized into different uh, you know connection or uh, i would say uh, different uh, uh, subdivisions or i would say like different connection kinds of things right so if it is actually connecting a different things are well divided uh, this thallus is divided into different uh, forms that is called as hold first what this hold first will do it actually connect the connects the two fungi it also helps to uh, you know get the nutrient requirements and other kinds of things that is required by the fungi actually here the thallus is divided into multiple different uh, segmentation like fingers however we have it is divided into different different form that is called as hold first and also consists of different uh, rhizoids as well so rhizoids help to anchor uh, the fungus as a substrate among this uh, hold first actually divided into different form the thallus is divided into different uh, 
branches that is called as whole fast again it consists of five important genera blastocladiella blastocladia blastocladiopsis allomyces and microallomyces these are all the five genera here we are going to discuss uh, three genera blastocladiella blastocladia and allomyces let's start with this uh, blastocladia first one yeah this sorry blastocladiella right so this blastocladiella they occur in soil and also they occur in plant and as well as animal debris so species like blastocladiella uh, stubeni and blastocladiella simplex they will occur in soil when it comes to other species like blastocladiella emersoni they grow in soil and as well as plants and also animal debris here the species blastocladiella emersoni they were the extensively studied organism for the developmental studies and uh, here one more important uh, feature is this blastocladiella produces four different kind of uh, uh, thallus and the juice spore will produce uh, the juice spore produces uh, four different kind of thallus the first one is uh, orange thin wall this is a uh, orange thin wall for our understanding i have given generally the juice spore is uh, produces four different kinds orange thin wall second one is uh, uh, early colorless thin wall this is called easy early colorless which means there is no color that's why i have uh, here they given no color like uh, there is no internal something since it is in uh, colorless uh, there will might be little bit difficult to identify but generally the first one is uh, orange color thin wall the second one is a uh, colorless thin wall that is called easy uh, early colorless thin wall that is called easy okay the second one is uh, resistant to sporangial uh, thick pitted this is how pitted which means uh, just imagine this is a, a, sp a juice spore or sporangia uh, inside this uh, juice spore it is pitted very strong like in a wall like thing this is called generally pitted where i have also told in uh, the general characters like pitted means it is a very thin wall inside very thick or i would say very thick okay inside it is uh, like this that is called a pitted so resistant to sporangial but thick pitted that is called rs this is rs type so when it comes to last one uh, late colorless thin wall that's what it's called as lc late colorless thin wall these are all the four different kinds of uh, uh, juice spores that is produced on uh, uh, four different kinds of uh, oh, sorry uh, juice spores are produced on thallus so the next genus is uh, blastocladia so some important genera like blastocladella prinshmi and blastocladella ramosa are there when we take this blastocladella prinshmi the actually this juice sporangia is a cylindrical take a look at this the a is blastocladella prinshmi it is a look like exactly cylindrical right so where the juice sporangia are cylindrical in shape that's why it is there they are representing uh, and are sometimes a ovoid also ovoid mostly cylindrical uh, the resting sporangia they will produce in the case of blastocladella ramosa this picture b represent blastocladella ramosa where uh, you take a look at this uh, this sporangia are actually dichotomously branched take a look at this all are dichotomously branched right so here uh, blastocladella brings me the juice sporangia is uh, cylindrical whereas in blastocladella ramosa they are actually the uh, sporangia are actually dichotomously branched uh, they are produced on the branches like things like right so dichotomously branched so this is about uh, blastocladia and the genera the next genera is uh, allomyces it is a very important genera and we used to study in uh, so this genera was actually created by new genera that is actually created by ej butler so this ej butler is renowned for uh, father of plant pathology in india and as well as mycology in india right there are a couple of important species of allomyces there are nine gen different species are there i have given couple of important so allomyces uh, anomalies anomal allomyces uh, arbuscula allomyces uh, javanicus allomyces uh, macrogynus allomyces allomyces uh, moniliformis or neo moniliformis and uh, reticulatus these are a couple of uh, important uh, genera of uh, allomyces and uh, here the thallus is actually two types where we have discussed uh, sporothallus and gamothallus sporothallus means uh, spore production that is actually in two in condition deployed so gamothallus is a uh, n in condition whereas uh, again this uh, sporothallus is of uh, two kinds of sporangia will produce thin walled juice sporangia inside the wall is very thin the second one is uh, thick walled resting juice sporangia which means uh, sporothallus is of two types they will produce two kinds of juice sporangia thin walled and thick walled juice sporangia when it comes to gamothallus uh, actually uh, 
uh, the both and uh, uh, male and female uh, sorry both male and female gametes are uh, during maturity they used to produce on the same thallus that's what is called as monoecious if they are producing in a different thallus it is called as dioecious right di different so di are two which means they are producing in a different thallus that's called dioecious since this uh, both male and female uh, gamete and are produced on the same thallus it is called uh, monoecious and here uh, this uh, fungi is known to produce a hormone called sirenin it is a sexual hormone uh, where it is produced by the female gametes to attract the male gametes the uh, family and the next family out of five families we are discussing two families right and the next family is uh, sulomomycetaceae and this family consists of two genera as we discussed earlier uh, sulomyces and uh, geographia uh, they are not that much important general characters they are actually obligate parasite uh, they generally infect uh, mosquitoes and they can also exploit it as uh, by control agent against mosquitoes as well so there is uh, a species called uh, uh, sulomo uh, a uh, mycetes uh, anophilaskia uh, especially uh, mosquitoes anophilas right and uh, silomomyces indiana that actu actually attacks uh, uh, lady mosquitoes anophilas mosquitoes generally causes some malaria uh, dengue something like that right so generally in one more thing is malaria i think so uh, yeah the fungus uh, also exist on alternation of generations and also they you know uh, heterogeneous kind of life cycle can be observed since it is mentioned uh, all two uh, between uh, two alternate hosts diploid gametelus or haploid gamma diploid gametelus and uh, sorry diploid sporothelus and haploid gametelus actually it alternates between the generations okay so these are all a couple of important features about uh, silomomycetae and it is very important that uh, this blastocladian chytrids are actually before it was placed under chytridium mycota but uh, you know uh, based on their phylogenetic variations or phylogenetic uh, distances again it was uh, classified into a new thing that is a uh, blastocladium mycota and they are also called as uh, blastocladian chytrids so chytrids generally grow on the rumen right so since uh, before it was actually classified chytridium mycota now it is a separated group the blastocladium mycota that's why it is also called as a blastocladian chytrids and a couple of important diseases uh, that was caused by the organism uh, this uh, group includes uh, uh, brown rot of maize which is caused by pisoderma zeamedes uh, crown wart crown wart of uh, lucerne pisoderma uh, alpha alpha crown wart of sugar beet which is caused by urophilitis uh, leproides so these are all the couple of uh, pathogens which causes diseases in plants yeah for further more information and further details a student may refer this book a vision into plant pathology a complete student version for further doubts guidance and uh, clarification uh, student may reach us at www.geekresearcher.com stay geeky and stay tuned we are team geeky researchers